Stray Tubes, how you doing, Stray? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I am doing on a beautiful day on my dick, should I say, you guys and girls have asked me, it's like, Chris, why don't you do a tear down vlog video? What are we going to be taking apart today? Well, we're going to be taking apart this crappy old Chinese can opener here basically. The problem is these things just wear out so easily when you cut open cans so many times and it doesn't work no more. But you know what? I'm gonna see what's the guts on the inside of this machine and basically find out why it doesn't open cans anymore. But yeah. Yeah. I know. That was the name of it. But basically, you can get these down at a local Walmart or whatever store for maybe about $20. These things ain't really worth fixing. There's no parts available for them anymore. But alright, let's go ahead and tear it apart and find out why it doesn't open canes no more. It's kind of interesting. Let's go have some freaking fun. Alrighty then, well what do we got on the operating table today? Well, we got the old can opener right here. And we also have some very old uh, can of pails from 2015. And I'm going to try to open it with this can opener. And basically we got a small screwdriver and a uh, power supply. Things piece of junk anyways. It's time to tear the pets. Find out what's going on with the darn thing. Why it won't open cans. Sorry about the noise. That opens it, but it makes a lot of noise, should I say. But I think what's going on is I think the teeth are kind of uh, worn out on this can opener. But there's your pearls. The can did open. But I'm actually going to dump these down the drain. I am not going to bother to try to eat them. Nope. Not after they've been sitting for a while. Alright, let's crack this thing open. Alright, tubes are on the table. I do apologize if the table just shake a bit. Just uh, let you know. But basically, we are going to tear apart this old uh, can opener. You can kind of see what the problem is with it. But basically, over time, these things just wear out. You know, you can't buy replacement blades or replacement parts for these old uh, can openers but basically I would normally save this cord but the cord is too short for uh, anything to use uh, basically we have a screw here and a screw here and a screw over here and I need my small guy to also unscrew this to see what's on the inside I'm just curious I think it's just the motor and stuff should I say I mean I took in multiples of these things apart before, but no really never shown you how to tear one of them apart yourself. And yes, it's something for the kitchen. But you can buy these whatever you want. But basically, it's just the old can opener. We just got a new one uh, lush today. And basically this one's getting retired. And yes, it's also going to go in the trash because it's no pulps I need to save out of it, basically. Now, I normally unscrew these off cam, but it's okay. Just showing you how the process goes. It's very simple. 
All right. Looks like we got some type of a modal. And those are some gills and stuff. But let's take it to bits. Well, all right. I took my time and unscrewed every single screw off camera here. And basically what we have is just your normal uh, plug here. Okay, if you're curious on what these plugs are, this short one here is your hot, and the long one right here is your neutral. This is called a polarized plug. It means you can only plug it in one way. You cannot plug it any own direction except for that way. Now, okay, here we have the neutral going to this transformer. And here we have the hot going to this some type of switch. Let's go ahead and pull the switch out here. It's just like a, a mini contacting switch. It's nothing special. Oh, and now it's grease all over the thing. thing. Yuck. Well, that happens. This is what happens when you tear things apart. You get a little messy. There's your uh, contact with switch. Let me bring it up for you. See it? Little uh, contact with switch made out of uh, brass or something like that. And basically, I torn multiples of these apart and never seen a plastic bearing before on some of these can openers. Pretty interesting. Couple of orange screws. And the one thing I'm mostly gonna do, I got my cuddles if I want. Basically, I can destroy this here because it's basically going in the trash. But sadly, this cord is too short to use for anything. Put that off to the side. Here is basically your spindle modal. Alright, looks pretty uh, cool. There's the winding housing with the transformer in the motor right here. Just basically a spin like that. But you're going to say, Chris, why don't you have the same type of own unit? You can probably salvage the bolts for it. But here's a metal cam. Here is a plastic cam and some own interesting uh, bits. Ugh, kind of greasy, should I say. Oh, here's the complete tail down of the old can opener we used to use all the time to uh, cut open cans, open the cans basically. But the problem is this little pulp down here. I can get you a little closer. That little metal gear there probably cost about forty dollars just to replace that pulp there. It's not really worth fixing these uh, can openers. Basically, it's nothing to them. Basically, you got your, you know, your winding, your modal, and your motor itself, and a cord. That I mean, it's just all about cheap design products from China whoever makes these and designs them really puts the effort of making things to basically break on you but you know what I'm very surprised is they did use a metal cam a metal gear and some type of plastic uh, gear there surprised that normally doesn't strip out very surprising that it has not happened on that can opener. But are you curious? There's the name. Don't buy this can opener. It's junk. Okay. Basically, there you go. Good old tail down video, should I say. Of the old can opener. It was amazing. Just to kind of show you what it looks like. And how you can prevent. I'm trying to fix one of these hunkered pieces of junk, should I say.
Alright, I knew this old can opener was going to kick the bucket soon because of the way it's been behaving. And no, I'm not going to bother to try to repair it or fix it because the parts may not be available for fixing this style can opener. But basically, it's just going to go in the trash basically because we live in a society where everything is basically just throw away devices now. And yes, it was a good can opener. And by the way, it's not even worth trying to scrap it because it's not a lot of metal inside of it just to worry about doing that. It's basically, that's it. It's the end of its life. And I thought it was kind of an interesting vlog to show you and basically figure out how these things actual work and how to actual open the cans. But yeah, sadly it's now dead, but you know what? It's all good. I thought it was kind of an interesting way of showing my viewers on how not to waste money on trying to fix a $20 uh, can opener when you can just buy them for 20 bucks, basically. But alright, if you guys and girls are also brand new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Oh, and by the way, if you're going to work on anything greasy, make sure you have old clothes, not any new ones. You don't want to ruin your new clothes, should I say.